Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're gonna be taking a look at some Mega Cruise from season two of Street Woman Fighter. Now I am wearing something different than what I was wearing in the reactions you are about to see. That is because I filmed all of them in one big reaction, but due to copyright, YouTube has blocked the content in full. So I have now had to split them up just so I can uh, try to keep them on YouTube for as long as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will catch you guys in the reaction. Okay. Bebe! Bebe. Bebe. Got a nice little concept already happening. I don't even know what's on there. Woo! So I don't even get a sneak peek of who's in their crew. <laughs> Approach. It's giving me boy crush, but like not innocent boy crush, but like uh, like angsty boy crush. But it may have matched the music well. lot of circles everybody this is my second like truly established circle like a multi-circle Wolflo did the exact same thing but they transitioned to different of course but that formation they done okay Using the sheet, we just have our just have our bebe members here. Ah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Switching the person with the sheet. I have not seen that particular instance before. Woo! I got goosies from that one. Wow. It feels like there's a lot more people on stage right now. Like that little last bit, it felt like there's a lot more. Wow. And they melt. Okay. All right. So this this felt more um k-pop in my opinion like a k-pop concept situation more so than a crew concept now i know that this crew a lot of them have k-pop choreography and being in it more so right like i will say the main dancer and like with um what is it with because i know bada was the one in charge of that for the leaders that one felt more crew-esque than this one did um and i don't know if it's because of the stage but like a lot of the other crews that i've already seen i haven't seen very many um but i was kind of expecting i was expecting a little bit more mm, crew concepts things that you don't really see in the k-pop realm there were a couple like the sheet like that was 
freaking dope, especially with the switch out. Like, that's really cool. Um, and I know the cameraman helped subtly with that, with kind of not allowing us to see certain parts of what was happening. But I will say there's a lot of that whole, this whole beginning section is an example of what I mean for like that overly angsty, rebellious situation. I don't know if it's they are coming out of an abusive relationship. I don't know if it's that. You know, or if it's a they're they're rebelling and this is kind of showing us that they're they don't want to but they have to, right? I'm just assuming because of the physical affection that's being displayed in the concept like that. Like that was nice having having my people here. So you have your people kind of framing with the arms up at the top, and then you have everybody kind of. Uh, bringing their arms through so that it's very clean and lines but also you have a good you have lines executing but also a front half executing while it's very clean in your lines here so that's really nice great start also their color palette is really similar to wolf low with the jacket so that's very interesting thing that I that I just noticed is that this and they're taking a legato approach like Wolf Low, but there's this more that feels more uh, K-pop, which could work against them because it's, we've already seen a K-pop challenge. So this means we need to see a different viewpoint. And there's there's some, but I don't think it's enough to get out of that k-pop angsty concept that i've seen uh in the music videos or seen in that in that way in the dances i like i really like that there's partner work here you know and that all six of them you or five I see five of them right here right i think there's six members i oh, man i feel bad if i'm wrong on that but yeah so Like, I like having the two, but I feel like we've already seen that a little bit later, so I wonder if they could have done, mm, well, no, honestly, I think it's fine. I think it looks good. I like that. It was got a nice little peel that was happening. That was nice. And you, I love they, they had a lot of pop-up choices. So you had a lot of your dancers where you have two of them covered up one. Could be because of the camera, because I remember I caught them trying to do that. Uh, on wolf lows, but I caught him because it was a wide angle. So I wonder I kind of feel like Some of these angles could work against these crews because it's so obvious what they're setting up for in some crews and in other ones the camera works for their favor and It's a total surprise because you didn't see it even though we could have seen it if it was in a wide shot So I think that's why I'd prefer a fixed point here But as of right now as I'm filming these they don't have those yet So that's why I'm just trying I'm going with what I have that's my big note on this is that yeah they're making them more conceptual um but I wish that it was a fixed point and you just got to see the whole thing because I feel like that would be more fair in actually looking at it from a spectator on who truly captivated you without needing a camera to help. That's just my personal thing. Maybe because of my background or what, like whenever I actually judge but I love that with the pushback I will say they are making similar choices in how they're pushing back on their partner but I wish that was subtly different like that was like the da 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 like and then they melt out of it right I like the unison very clean very clean in their angles look they're about to run away but look boom 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 everything is freaking clear I love it don't give me any room to not know. And then I love that this changed from into like a W, you know. Yeah, that's fun. This was sick. I love this where you have your people. I think there was a formation note on this though I had an issue with. I don't think I talked about it when I saw it. But that's fine. But like, look here. Look, these guys... I don't, it could be a number thing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So look, they're making a beautiful circle. And then there's this guy over here. But look, this is not, I don't even know what formation this is. So that's like my, it's Pac Man. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's a really ugly Pac Man. I'm so sorry. But no, look, look, I feel like it's either they're really supposed to be doing, I don't know, they're supposed to be uh, creating a sense of imagery. Uh, or creating the two two circles 
but this this side's not giving circle it's giving pac-man look that's much better and this one's giving a circle with like a little grenade or a banana i don't know but it's just and that's not because i paused it that way i noticed it the first time look they're still stationary and this i think this formation is just sloppy like look this is not near as clean as what we've been seeing which is why it's so obviously pointed out and no it's not because we had our two features you know they're kind of chilling over here i excluded them from whenever i was talking about this formation it's nothing to do with my features in this moment they are doing fine and I don't know if they were supposed to do that on purpose. Because look, she had, they had to go and they had to bleed through. So I don't know if it's either they did it correctly and they were just kind of spaced down and she had to kind of weave through. But she didn't have to weave through very far, you know. So I feel like it's too organized for her to do a proper weave through like she's lost. But hers looked like she was lost. So I don't, it doesn't matter if who was right and who was, who was wrong because they weren't symmetrical like they weren't they didn't it, it, it and i feel like for this type of formation it's either because it was a wide shot or whatever it should have made more clarity there in that particular instance in comparison to what we've already been seeing so yeah that's nice so boom boom da, da, da. right so they're they're making predictable texture choices with the song like they're hitting a lot of these rebounds with a tension-esque or like a breathy kind of um state after you know so like rebounding and it and then they're kind of bleeding out over it which gives me that tame in that 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 kind of k-pop boy boy group we're really we're really struggling here kind of aesthetic right it's a concept not really now you just think k-pop idols do struggle mentally that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about concepts in which they're like supposed to be all oh, 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 like that you know so that's my that's my big note here is that's what it's coming across as this doesn't look like bebe like they did in the crew preview i saw them as a crew for that i do not see them and this doesn't represent their crew it doesn't feel like it in comparison to the other groups, you know? And it's different than what I was talking about with Lady Bounce. Lady Bounce is showing themselves as a crew, but in different uniforms or in different facets and different colors. This group, it doesn't quite feel like a crew, you know? It, and, um, well, I guess they feel more unified in the sense of, like, I see them as a crew. Like, this is a big group dance, but I don't see it as Bebe doing a mega crew challenge, you know? Which make, which could be a good thing, honestly, you know? But I did already mention this. So, you have this formation. Wolflow did a formation very similar to this with the two circles. But they only have three people here. Wolflow had, like, six or seven. But I made a note about that one whenever I watched that one. Yeah, so that was nice. It was clean. So it's very clean, which I really like. I will say they do have a couple formation issues, like I've already mentioned. Yeah, that was, ooh, that was nice. Like, that was nice. I wish that was from the front, but I get the, the corner. Yeah, that was fun. I love where the guys were kind of uh, bent over and by them responding, the girls flipped over. That was really cool. So this, like, little moments like this is what makes me think it's about, like, domestic abuse or about, like, an abusive relationship because it's, he's having a very domineering posture over her. And I don't know what the song, yeah, like that. But they're like, I love it or I can't leave this because they're so, yeah. This, this part, I wish they had more moments with the sheet when the sheet comes out. Like, it's nice to see them as a crew here, but there's nothing special about, there's nothing special about what they're doing right here. There's only just a bed sheet kind of flopping like this, so just basic peel-outs. Like, there's nothing that really catches me. That was fun, seeing that, what, it? That was a nice little moment, performance quality there. Fun. Like, they have great performance up here, you know, it's very nice. But it also screams K-pop. This was sick right here. I love this. Yeah. This. Okay, this right here. So I know she's falling down right here. No, it wasn't. I don't, I don't know what it was. Hold on. Is this a... Okay, hold on. Oh, did I look at this wrong? Okay. So we're here. They peel out, peel out, and then we have one of our dancers right here. Okay. I got a real quick... Because when I originally thought, ah, okay. 
So here's what I originally thought. I thought that they switched the person out and it was a different person that was standing. If they did that, that would have bl that blew my mind when I saw it. And now I'm like very disappointed that's not what happened because honestly it kind of just takes the gimmick away a little bit for me because they held the, sh the sheet up obviously because of her to get down and just stand up you know but if they were able to like have her and then bring her down and have somebody else right there that would have been phenomenal but I also know that's probably really hard to pull off and a lot of logistics and that's just a whole nother thing but that, I think that kind of, that it kind of turned this into like a, it just made it safer, I think, as a gimmick than like a risk. So maybe that was just me overly looking into it. I'll say this, when I've seen a lot of Mega Crews, and mm, the term Mega Crew is, it's just stem from a particular competition, an international competition. Um, when I, when I, when I speak about really large groups, yeah, so like production size, really large groups like this, just a, in general, um, when they do concepts like this, it is really cool that you want to make sure that it comes across differently or you need to make your audience be like, how do they do that? Because as soon as I realized it was the same girl, here's the thing, it's amazing for her to be able to captivate upside down and then get back up in a timely manner, of course. My point is I really feel like uh, they they could have taken a bigger risk there um, outside of just having her hang upside down and then coming down and standing back up out of it. I really feel like they could have switched the person out or done something like that because I've seen that happen before in wild ways. And so I think, I think part of me too, when I watch groups like this, I've seen a lot of really big groups and a lot of this format of competition before, just in a different scope. Um, and I'm also not viewing these in that kind of light. I'm just going off of my personal preference of what I enjoy when I watch a group. Um, so it's really hard for me personally to be caught off guard or surprised by a concept, um, especially if it's a concept that has been done before. If anything, it's going to be harder, obviously, because I'm going to be looking at it from a lens of I've seen this before. What are you bringing to the table that's different that's going to make me appreciate what you're doing more than what I've already experienced, right? So that right there, at first I was like, that is awesome. But now I'm like, oh, okay, I see what they did there. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm sad. Well, I'm great. I'm glad I was able to experience it, but I'm sad that it wasn't like true. Like that's what really happened. You know what I mean? Anyway, I feel like I'm rumbling. Yeah. Yeah. I love that where they go down and they peel back up. But look, even that little hit hit that they did already, like this is feels is starting to feel repetitive in how they're choosing. And here's the thing too, when you use one song, you have that risk, but also it makes it the most cohesive when you use one song. Because like I had already reacted to, I reacted to Lady Bounce, they used three songs and they didn't really match. And that is a big, uh, that can be a big negative impact on you as a group. Here in this, in this place, the one song works, you keep your concept, it's simple. Downside is you're gonna run into a problem with your content. Your content's gonna start to look too similar if you're not careful. When you have a lot of people, you tend to wanna go more simplistic and so that you can run a bigger risk, right? Yeah, so they're hitting, it's intense here and they're using subtly, you know, they're doing more unison gear because it's wrapping up. So I would make that choice too. But it, yeah, they are, they are taking a lot of pauses to just like feel it out or hear and, here, you know, like they're doing a lot of that. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if they're doing those because it allows the member a time to shine or if it's a, we need to fill up this one count before we go into the next content. So that's always my thing. Don't let, don't do it so much that makes people question that. You know what I mean? This was cool where they hugged every member and then you already have people down, right? But they hug all these members and then they like melt to the floor. That's really cool. I love this ending here. And then they just melt all at the same time with there's no music or no cue or anything. That's super cool. And then they all finish on the floor. This right here too, gonna be honest, this feels like a K-pop group that they just finished a dance performance video. Honestly, and that's not what the challenge is. It's a mega crew challenge. It's bring us with your best concept 
and smash the floor and destroy it with your formations and your visuals and the amount of people you have. Do I think they did that? Mm, not 100%. I don't think this is going to be at the top for me. Uh, out of who we have left to react to. I've already heard that some of you guys have some really, really big preferences based on what you've already seen. So I am waiting to react to those last in this video for that reason. Um, but yeah, I really feel like this is gonna probably be a pretty average performance. Uh, shockingly, I feel out of the ones I've watched so far, I really think Wolf Flow brought the most, uh, brought the most uh, um, visuals to the table in comparison to everybody else, which is very surprising for me personally. So, but they did great. All I have to say, Bebe did great, but it looks 2 k K-pop for a challenge like this. And I know some of you, uh, I, I heard some of the results, not all of them, some of the results for the K-pop challenge. And like I said, um, very, I'm very, it's very unfortunate that Suba Kill took a very early exit. Very surprising for me. They were not one of the first for me, like I've already mentioned, but um, I feel that a lot of the emphasis on these challenges is you got to make sure you maintain the essence of what the challenge is. I think this was more K-pop, which already happened, than Mega Crew, personally. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful in some way. I've been really enjoying the Street Woman Fighter Season 2 series, and I've always been enjoying the discussions that we've been having. If you want more Street Woman Fighter content, you can take a look throughout this channel. Not only that, I do have exclusive content, aka blocked content, that may not ever show up here on Patreon um, for you to take a look at as well. If there's something that's missing here that you feel that maybe you've already taken a look at, that's a great place to look and invest. But my goal is to try to get as much content on YouTube as possible just so anybody and everybody can be able to just be a part of the discussions and be a part of everything alongside me. So I've been really, like I've said, I've really enjoyed just the time I've been spending with everybody here. And uh, whether it's here on YouTube or it's on Patreon, both are awesome. And I can't wait for the discussions. I will check y'all later.